Hello everyone, Game Warzone here and welcome back to another Space Engineer video. Damn, it's been more than a year since the last update on this Connery ship. So I guess it's gonna be part 5, I believe. So a quick summary of what I'm building here for those who are new in this channel or recently sub. Um, last year I saw this ship or like this image while I was searching for some Connery ship. Immediately after that I decided to make something like this ship in a Space Engineer. So, yeah, that's like the back history of like how I even started working on this ship. By the way, I did a lot of work on the nasals off camera a few months ago and I just forgot to record. So, yeah, um, here's a quick like look at the nasals, I guess. So this ship is more than one kilometer long and quite wide. Not sure how much, but it's it's quite wide. <laughs> Inside the dome, I'm supposed to build a proper city with like three different level: a 3D printer under the hangar and a detachable nasals. Yeah, scratch that one. Right now the ship is flyable in Atmo, um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be after I'm done with the city inside the dome. So I might just end up removing all the Atmo thrusters at the bottom and replace them with hydrogen thrusters and just fill the nacelles with hydro tanks and thrusters. We'll see how it goes. Though I think we might have to do suicide burn to be able to leave the Atmo again. And a suicide burn on a Connolly ship, yeah, that would be kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's just start working on the hangar and also finishing up the top as well, top part of the ship. First I decided to remove the parts and parts that I don't need and also these like support beams and just reference blocks to get the idea of like how big I want the air, uh, each part of the ship to be. So get rid of those first. Then I decided to use ramps and stairs for both exterior and interior of the hangar and of course interior blocks using all side of it to like find that feel and just create that feel that I'm looking for for the hangar. Now since I need to be able to get to the nasals I needed a pathway to the nasals. Now since we're gonna cross a part of the ship where I can actually I have the opportunity to actually be able to watch the outside so I started to use windows though I ended up like removing some of them to create an airtight area and uh, since like I really really want to make the whole ship airtight it's gonna be really hard but I'm gonna try my best to make the whole ship airtight we'll see how it goes as I mentioned a lot of ramps and stairs decided to leave one blocks empty in the middle to add and uh, corner lights or just like random lights uh, not hidden lights uh, normal lights to create that hollow effect that i'm looking for while i was working on the interior i also had to work on the exterior as well I decided to use some round blocks, I really want to use more round blocks on this ship, it adds more uh, character to the ship. And this very long and creepy maintenance tunnel. I don't know why I decided to add this since you really can't do anything in them. <laughs> After a while I ended up mixing things up because it started to look really repetitive. To combat that, I decided to create support beams, support beam like looking structures, to add more character to the hangar and ended up filling up the holes 
with windows so you can actually use natural sunlight to uh, light up the hangar and i think it looks cool what do you guys think Now there are a lot of uh, parts in this ship that has a lot of details, right? But I decided to keep the top of the ship really smooth and clean since our last or like the third uh, city level is going to be two or like four giant penthouses with pretty much 360 view, less than 360 actually, view. And so I said to keep the top part of the ship really clean, though I might end up at some like pathways not pathway and sorry um catwalks for people to like go outside and walk on the top of the ship and just uh, like enjoy the scenery or like whatever you know what i mean Alright, there we go. Now I need you guys feedback. Let's see how many people actually watch my videos <laughs> till the end. So I need your thought on something really important here. Should I create an open hangar and just fill it up with landing pads and like one like um, big, uh, what should I call it, like control room in the middle of the hangar for the ship to just come in and land and just get off the ship and then enter the airlocks to the main part of the ship or create three or four um, air tightable hangers which means I have to use hangar gates that will create limitation and that limitation is gonna be the size so yeah let me know your thought completely open hangar design or three or four air tightable hangar design each one have its own uh, advantage and disadvantage i'm leaning towards more uh, open design but i need to know your thoughts and feedback on that so yeah let me know okay
Under the hangar, I'm going to create a massive engine area with tons of thrusters and power plants. Reactor, I mean. The back half, as you can see, is going to be the 3D printer, though that's going to be like on the left or on the side, doesn't really matter. And on the like other side, like the right side, is going to be a massive production system, like refineries, assemblies, arc, um, arc, what was those um, blocks that only uh, melt um, iron? I completely forgot their name. And more stuff. Then the front half is going to be... As I've said, the engine area. Alright, this is it. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. See you guys next month. And uh, I really don't want to rush this thing and I want to like keep working on it slowly, keep growing this ship and uh, like uh, with my channel. And it's kind of cool to see how the game is actually making progress as well. They really, really worked on their LODs and their distance, especially for the blocks. Just go and watch uh, the last episode of the um, Connolly build part four, I believe it is. You really, you really can see the difference, especially with the glasses. They're doing really good with the optimization, and even though the ship is quite huge, I'm getting quite a good playable frame rate. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you guys next week with workshop update and here's a quick test flight. It feels amazing to just walk on it while the thing is flying. Really love the scale and the feel that it gives me, I don't know why I really like it. So yeah, thanks for watching and and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, if you didn't leave a dislike and give me your feedback okay, I really need your feedback on the hangar. If you're new to this channel please consider subscribing i'm just rambling right now <laughs> thanks for watching bye now